freedom of speech, hmm. which is a First Amendment right. Have we lost freedom of speech? It came into the Constitution 1791, along with freedom of religion, freedom of press, freedom of assembly. Hmm. Do, do, have we lost freedom of speech? Because I feel like now everything and everybody is too emotional. Too sensitive. PC. Life is just too sensitive. Oh, you you can't even be a comedian. If you're a comedian and you joke about uh, homosexuality, it's a problem. People are mad. Everybody, it's like, it's like, it's almost like you lost freedom of speech. Right. You, even in, even in joke form, right? Fat shaming, you, anything. You, you know, you, know, you talk about somebody that's that. You know, you talk about somebody being overweight, and it's like you got this group of people that's mad. You talk about somebody being homosexual. You talk about somebody being gay, and you got this group of people that's mad. And it's just like it's crazy now, man. Yeah, cancel culture is 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 it's it's, it's like much. it's almost like mm -hmm. we really lost our right to have freedom of speech. And for me, it's just, to me, I just feel as though no matter what you are in life, if you confident and you comfortable with who you are in life, then a comedian doing a, a joke about a gay person is supposed to be funny to a gay person as well. It's not supposed to be, oh, you, you talking about this, it's supposed to be, uh, that was a joke. You know, and and it's just crazy because it's it's is a lot of shit out here that you can joke about and you and nobody says shit. But then you got these these subjects that they they get they so sensitive and they so that you you talk about these subjects and now you get thrown under the bus. You get and I'm like, I thought you had a freedom of speech. I thought that was a right. I thought that was a, a an amendment. That was given to everybody on planet Earth, right. but in actuality, it's not. Because if you say the wrong shit, then oh, uh, you got this group that's after you, and 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 now it's like uh, I was just playing. Though that was supposed to be funny, that wasn't supposed to be taken in a serious fucking manner. Yeah, like, they bringing up tweets from people from ten years ago and shit like that. Right, like 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 you got people now that that get big, you know. And they might have tweeted some shit out when they was sixteen year a sixteen year old junior in high school, and now they're taking all the blame for some shit they did as a kid. Like, and it's safe to say when you're a kid, you're not thinking the same way you would think as a fucking adult. Yeah, even twenty to thirty, you think different, right? So it was like, did we lose? The right of freedom of speech. Do you could, could do, do you do, could you say something like organize organizational bullying? Mm -hmm. Think about that, Dev. Mm -hmm. Like just because you got power, where you could just, anybody that oh we going after them because of this. Mm -hmm. We going after them. anybody. You could just go at anybody because you got the power, and you could just like I, I think that's people don't talk about that shit. You know what I mean? That's a good word though. Organizational bullying. Yeah, organized like, bullying. Yeah, organized, but it's organizations that could you know. That could put the smack down on you because you said some shit. Yeah. But like, but let me ask you a question. You can't even say shit. Right. You you get like but you censored all the way up. Like that's it's like you go to say something, somebody's like, don't say that. You're gonna happen this. Don't say that. You're gonna happen this. Don't say that. You can't say shit. But my whole thing is if if you're secure with your per with yourself, I'm an ugly nigga. I know I'm an ugly nigga. Motherfucker come out and call me ugly. I don't want the ugly organization of America fucking with people. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm secure with who I am. I don't want all the ugly motherfuckers coming out taking my motherfucker back. No, you ugly too, nigga. Accept it. You woke the fuck up, looked in the mirror your whole fucking life. You the fuck ugly too. Yeah. I don't want the ugly organizations of America. Don't be don't talk about ugly people. No, no, no. Them bitches been looking in the mirror their whole fucking life. They know they fucking ugly. <laughs> Bald shaming. Right. Like bald shaming. Like <laughs> he's bald. No, no, no. Do he ball shame? <laughs> you wasn't ball shaming. No. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> don't try to don't try to throw me under the bus. <laughs> like, like I'm just saying, like if somebody came out talking about bald headed motherfuckers, we ain't gonna feel no type of fuck. way. Right. We bald like I'm not like, gonna care. <laughs> Right, it's like well, we don't want the bald bald niggas of America to step up for us and, and like say shit for me. Right, but that's cool. where it's coming to. It's coming to you can see people standing up for anything and making a big deal out of shit that don't need to be made. I think technology gave a lot of people voice and it gave a lot of people a lot of people feel it's doing important. They just want to argue about nothing sometimes. Like you just got everybody got this voice on social media. Every it's a movement about anything. Oh, don't walk your dog on this side of the street. It's a movement. You can't walk your dog anybody. And then you have somebody with a loudspeaker just. Screaming about shit that don't no don't really even matter. Right. But just because you now technology made it where as though everybody could be something, everybody could be the leader of this organization. They could speak this. They could have this tweet, this movement of people doing Twitter to back their plays. It's like you, it's crazy, man. And you a, can't a do joke shit. is not hate speech. Just because somebody make a joke about something don't mean they hate those people. That's the part that like, they like, try like to make Like comedy is censored right. now. They took the whole comedy thing and they shit censored up. Right. The motherfuckers are standing up. He Motherfuckers people, don't yeah. want to hear that shit, man. Yeah. You see the boy Donnell Rollins, he don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Dave Chappelle, Dave don't, Chappelle don't, give don't give a fuck. Yeah. And that's why they shit is so potent. Because oh. because because the law of the land say you got a right to say what you want to say. Yeah. But what's so crazy is it's no longer like that. Me and him joke on each other all day. We don't hate each other. Right. And he say some vicious shit about him. Nigga, you say some vicious shit too. <laughs> You Fuck you something. Don't just try to throw me. You look, he trying to get one of them organizations <laughs> on me. You nut ass nigga. You a nut ass nigga. No, you trying to get the you trying to get the prison rape organization yeah, no, of America. I can, I can get glad See, on him. Now, because now, he now, called me gay all the time. Now, now, did you hear what he just said? No, I'll call you spicy. It's a little different. All right. You hear what he just said? Even that, that's a joke. Prison rape organization. It'll be some people that'll come out and be like, that's not a joke. People are really going yeah, through I'm these sorry. things not, in jail. Not, like, yeah, it's like, well, let me on, just say something. If you're going through that, you're supposed to be able to protect your cookies. That's an amendment, too. That's the First Amendment right to protect your fucking cookies. You know what I mean? But, but the whole thing is like. Don't let nobody stick a finger in your chocolate chips. <laughs> Yeah, that's spicy. <laughs> fuck, fuck is wrong with you. So if you so if you in prison and a nigga taking your chocolate chips, you had a First Amendment right to defend your fucking self. <laughs> yeah. Bare arms, nigga. Yeah. Grab that fucking knife and stab and a get, nigga. Get busy. Fuck it, and get busy. <laughs> fuck it, get busy bone in that motherfucker. Yeah. It's the first of the month. Wake up, wake up, wake up. <laughs> get them checks and get up. Wake up, wake up. Fuck is wrong with you. Yeah. So at the end of the day, man, we can all agree that we no longer have our amendments. We yeah, no cause longer I, have freedom even of speech. Because even when you said the freedom to assemble, do do people really got that? Really? You know what I'm saying? Because whenever they assemble for something, next thing you know, the troops is out there on them shooting tear gas on people. You know what I'm saying? Igniting the fire instead of letting it be a peaceful, you know what I'm saying, meetup. That's so, crazy. You know what I mean? So, so we no longer have the freedom of speech. I mean. Okay, so let's wipe we, that off we, the we, amendment. Shit, shit. Shit, we say what we want on a million dollars worth of game, though. That's, well, but that's why that yeah. off the amendment. And if one, and if and if and if one of the organizations came at us for saying what saying something that they felt as though wasn't, you know, fit, how you guys feel? You gonna react? I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you jump out there and say some wild shit to them. You already know you gonna tell, say something that's gonna be crazy. I'm gonna let how you, you take gonna the, react. I'm waving the white flag. <laughs> you waving the white flag. Okay, I'm gonna tell the motherfuckers. I say what the fuck I want on million dollars worth of game. You niggas kiss my ass. Yeah, me.